This is a selection of lifts on the Copenhagen Metro and Suburban Lines and it's lift sword time. So then, for those of you who don't know, I went on a day trip. Well, I would say it was a day trip, except it wasn't. It was actually a night trip. That's why I flew over to Copenhagen in the evening and came back in the morning. So I spent the night in Copenhagen and I did not sleep. And as the Metro runs 24 hours a day, I pretty much went around in the middle of the night riding the Metro and the lifts. And then we go to the first lift, which is at Congen. And this is pretty much when I first arrived at Copenhagen at 6 o'clock in the evening. And this lift is a really nice Otis Gen 2. I don't know if it's an original Gen 2 or if it's been modernised into a Gen 2. Anyway, it's a really nice fast glass lift. Let's ride it! <laughs> Here we go to Bisberg. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And the lift here is well, it makes a really weird sound. It actually goes sort of like psst, psst, psst. It's really weird. Just take a listen to this. And by the way, this is actually not on the Copenhagen Metro, this is actually on one of the suburban lines. Now along we go to Van Luz and this is at the end of the Copenhagen Metro and I was here at about half three in the morning and the whole place is completely deserted. There's nobody about, it's like the middle of the night, the whole place is empty. And although the Metro runs 24 hours a day, the Suburban line doesn't. Well, some parts of the Suburban lines do run 24 hours a day, but not this part. And the Suburban station is completely empty. Just take a look at this. This station's like middle of the night, deserted, it's so creepy. And along we go to the lift. Traffic light sign, and it's been pretty annoying if you live near one of these traffic lights because when the red man's up, it beeps slowly, and when it's green man, it beeps really quick because it's pretty much beeping non stop. And one thing I noticed about the people in Copenhagen is they don't cross on the red man. It's quite weird, especially me coming from London, where everyone just crosses the road whenever they feel like. In Copenhagen, people actually wait for the green man, even when the road is empty. And since I come from England, I'm not going to wait for a stupid green man. I just cross the roads whenever I feel like. And I started to notice that everyone was like staring at me, like I was the odd one out. And it's only when I got home from Copenhagen, I realised you could actually be fined for crossing on the red man. But hey, it's not going to stop me, is it? Now, along we go to the next lift, which is at Norraport. And this lift is something I haven't seen before. This is a Fissant and it's a hydraulic lift. And it appears to have intelligent levelling. How can I have a hydraulic with intelligent levelling? Although it might not actually be intelligent levelling. It might just be like a really short bit of levelling that gives the impression of intelligent levelling. But nevertheless, it just like comes up to the floor and stops straight away. I've never seen this before on a hydraulic. Yeah, 
And now look, we go to Fredericksburg. And just take a look at some of these metro stations. These stations look really posh. I mean, this is like a really awesome looking metro. It's completely automatic. No drivers at all. Runs 24 hours a day. This is like the perfect metro system. This is so awesome. <laughs> Along we go to Austrad and along to the lift there. Right then, along we go to Christian Hafen, and this station looks really awesome. And the lift there is a really nice 2 meters a second Otis 2000, and this is a really nice lift. Let's ride it! Yeah. 
It ticks slowly on red man, it ticks really fast on green man. And now along we got two Budinge on the suburban lines and along to the lift there. Now, along we go to Copenhagen Central. 